deadly, dangerous tomahawks are coming to Japan. Pentagon okays 400 missiles for Tokyo to fight China. The U.S. has approved the potential sale of 400 Tomahawk missiles to Japan in a $2.35 billion deal. Japan's defense minister, Minoru Kihara, announced on October 4 that Tokyo will begin acquiring Tomahawk cruise missiles in 2025, ahead of schedule. The package is expected to include 400 Tomahawk missiles, 14 tactical Tomahawk weapon control systems, software, support equipment, spares, and technical support, the Pentagon said earlier reports by Euroasian Times. The announcement, aimed at bolstering the Japanese defenses in the face of a deteriorating security situation, was made after the Japanese minister met his American counterpart, Lloyd Austin, at the Pentagon, as earlier reported by Euroasian Times. The alliance would be strengthened by close collaboration, said Japan's defense minister, Minoru Kihara, who was in the United States for the first time since, being appointed defense chief last month. Austin told Kihara, this is a time of historic momentum in the U.S.-Japan alliance. We support your government's bold decisions to invest in advanced capabilities, including Counter-Strike, and to increase defense spending to 2% of Japan's gross domestic product by 2027. Japan intended to purchase up to 400 Block V Tomahawk missiles, in fiscal 2026 inches and into the following year. However, to prioritize speedier deployment, Tokyo reportedly chose to begin the purchase of the weapons a year ahead of schedule. By swapping out up to half the missile units, with an older variant, I, E, Block 4. Japan announced last December that it set aside more than 2 billion US dollars to procure. US made Tomahawk missiles for its naval destroyers, as part of a historic defense buildup to deter China and North Korea. Tomahawk missiles will provide Japan with counter-strike capabilities stipulated in the new defense policy unveiled in December 2022. Although this is the first time in decades that Japan is accruing offensive capabilities. It contends that it can be justified as a kind of self-defense and, that having the potential to attack enemy bases, is permissible under the constitution. Reports in Japanese media indicated that the government had, decided to upgrade all eight of its Aegis destroyers by fiscal 2027 so that they could install Tomahawk cruise missiles. The Tomahawk purchases are part of a more significant strategy whereby, Tokyo aims to spend around 38 billion US dollars over the next five years on deploying missiles, that can attack an enemy target from a great distance. The range of a Block V Tomahawk cruise missile, is 1,000 miles or more than 1,600 kilometers, making it an ideal weapon for Japan. Although the Japanese defense minister did not cite the reason behind the decision, to advance the purchase by a whole year. Analysts have observed Tokyo's efforts to improve its defense capabilities over the past year have been justified by the continuous Chinese military aggression in the region. The threat perception included China's joint patrols with Russia, around Japan and the high number of Chinese incursions around the disputed Senkaku Islands. In the latest Pentagon meeting, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin reassured the Japanese defense minister by emphasizing that Article V of the Japan-U.S. Security Treaty states, the United States' ironclad commitment to defend Japan, including the Senkaku Islands and other territories. The Senkaku Islands, known as Daioyu Islands by China, is a group of uninhabited islands in the East China Sea, about 43 miles northeast of Taiwan, and remains an object of dispute between Tokyo and Beijing, with China's maneuvers along the Taiwan Strait. The security of Senkaku has also been called into question. According to the Japanese Coast Guard, four Chinese government ships reportedly entered Japanese territorial waters near the disputed islands on September 15. According to Japanese broadcaster NHK, the raid is the 23rd Chinese incursion of 2023 and the first since August 23. As soon as the news broke out, it caused ripples in Beijing. State-owned Global Times reported that Chinese analysts believe that while the U.S. supports Japan's rearmament, the report said the U.S. aids Japan in acquiring long-range attack capabilities to make it a more significant pawn against China. Japan wants to support the U.S. in fighting China to achieve the normalization of its large-scale military expansion. Song Dongping, a Chinese military expert and TV commentator, told the Global Times. If Japan dares to launch attacks on other countries at sea, its territory will also become a target for retaliation. Therefore, Japan should not miscalculate and think that it can use weapons and equipment without facing consequences. Tomahawks are coming to Japan ahead of schedule. Tomahawk cruise missiles are precision weapons that can hit targets precisely, even in well-guarded airspace. These missiles are launched from ships and submarines.
The range of a Tomahawk cruise missile is 1,000 miles. Tomahawk cruise missiles may destroy buildings and leave up to 20-foot wide blast craters. They are powerful because they can transport a typical warhead that weighs about 1,000 pounds. These long-range missiles were designed to travel at low altitudes and subsonic speeds, making it hard for radar to pick up. They can advance far into hostile areas. The U.S. possesses a stockpile of roughly 4,000 missiles, extensively employed in Libya, Syria, and Iraq. It's anticipated that 100 will be used yearly for training and testing. The U.K. is currently Tomahawk's exclusive export market. Additionally, Australia has expressed interest in purchasing missiles that might be modified to launch from its present fleet of submarines. However, Japan's bulk order has caught the attention of its regional adversaries. The Block 4 variant has a data link embedded into it. That allows switching targets, while the missile is in flight and can loiter for a prolonged duration. In contrast, the Block V variant has next-generation technological advancements that allow the weapon to attack moving ships at sea while flying, hugging the ocean surface beyond the radar aperture of what opponents can detect. For the JSDF, the Tomahawk will act as a bridge until locally made missiles are launched. The Type 12, surface-to-ship missile, created domestically, will be used by the MOD as a standoff missile. The Army, Navy, and Air Force will use different versions of this missile. According to the Ministry, the ground-launched kind will be deployed in 2026, the ship-launched type in 2028, and the aircraft-launched type in 2030.